Hey guys, it's Anne over at the Plant Obsessed channel and we are going to take a look at our teeny weeny little cocoon bins. Uh, started 515 of 19 with 500 European night crawlers in this one and 500 cocoons of red wigglers in this one. Alright, let me get you set up and I'll bring you back. Alright guys, let's have a look at the red wiggler bin. So let's let's fluff things up here and, and have a look. Pretty pretty moist in here. So still seeing some not extraordinarily large red wigglers in here. Paperclip. How do paper clips get in here? Okay, I think I found the corner where it fed. pretty small. It's a good concentration of them though. Uh, I'm not seeing any food. Food food. Pugs are excited about something. So lots and lots of worms but they are still not super big. So I'm going to continue digging around here. Certainly got my 500 worms out of the whole cocoon business. Um, and they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. I have no problems with them being smallish worms. So long as the worms are doing what they're supposed to do, then that is all I need. And they are turning junk mail and scrap food into, there's a good size one, into usable, okay, relative size. That's as big as I've seen in here. And he is not going to break any records for sure. Look at that, he's making a little heart. He still loves me, even though I harangue him about being skinny. All right, in you go. But yeah, that's that's literally, I think it's the biggest one I've seen. They're all pretty tiny. If I move them to a bigger bin, you know, maybe we'll see the next generation bigger. But I'm not, I don't know if I put them in a bigger bin now, if this particular generation would ever be bigger. All right, well, I think that's fluffed up enough. Let me go get them some food. Okay, I'm back. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a, a place in the middle here. And give them some fresh bedding. Now this bedding has been aged for a couple of weeks. I'm taking the dry bits off the top because this bin is already pretty, pretty moist. It doesn't need to be any more moist and the apple goo I'm going to feed them is going to be wet enough to make the dry paper pretty, uh, pretty wet again. So again with the apple goo, this should last them for a couple of weeks. Put some new bedding on top. This aged bedding, got my little helper here, Rosebud. The aged bedding uh, does have the grit in it already, so won't need to add any more grit to that. 
but that is the Red Wigglers uh, from Cocoon, still in their original place that I put them, and they're doing lovely. All right, give me a minute and I'll switch over to the European Nightcrawlers. Alrighty, so here is the European Nightcrawlers. Pretty, pretty moist on the lid there. Take a look and see what they have accomplished. Yeah, you can tell. I mean, just in general, that is a much bigger worm, but they're they're not as big as the European. Well, maybe. I don't know. That's not bad. That's not bad for a European nightcrawler. I mean, it's not a Titan, but it's not it's not bad. So, not seeing any worm balls, but again, it's still pretty moist because the food I've been feeding them lately has been that leftover apples. But these are mature worms now, and so populations should start getting higher and higher. And but there's definitely, you know, a significant population throughout. So as far as the 500 cocoons versus how many worms did I get, I'm not going to count them. Uh, it's too close to Christmas. I'm going to file that under, uh, ain't nobody got time for that. But I'm, I'm pleased with what I've got. This European night crawlers do seem to get the short end when, um, as far as breeding. I know not everybody's. That's behaving more like a blue worm, isn't it? It's a pretty good size. Pretty active, though. That tail. I don't know. Maybe he's just had a lot of coffee. So yeah, the size of the worms is, is pretty decent. Not disappointed at all. But the, the castings in here are really wet, so I'm going to continue to try and add dry bedding. Because this is, I mean, I don't know if you can hear that. That's, that's pretty wet. So we're going to fluff that up really good. The packaging from the box is almost gone. The little bags that the cocoons came in has yet to break down. some dry bedding. Dry-ish. I mean... Alright, so... Go get the other half of that bag. Maybe by the time the apples are back on the tree, I'll be done feeding them what's left of these apples. Here's my little pug in for the assist. kind of incorporate that a little bit and uh, that's all there is for the cocoon only bins Oi! this guy's trying to escape almost closed him in the lid that wouldn't have been cool so that's it for this installment of the cocoon only bin and give me a muddy thumbs up if you like that hit subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and uh, ring a little uh, bell notification icon if you'd like to know what I'm doing when I'm doing it but other than that guys uh, 
thanks for hanging out with me and my worms and everybody have a good night